This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Mark Thomas with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. It's a story we've been following for you all week long. We continue to check if nine teenagers who were ticketed for a rash of fence vandalisms as part of the Kool-Aid Challenge will face additional charges. Sarpy County deputies gave out citations to nine teens after security camera video helped them crack the case. They also say tips from Crime Stoppers and one from a parent helped to identify the teens. Omaha police are looking for the person who shot a man. Officers found the victim with a gunshot wound near 30th and Dodge. They later found what they believe to be the gunman's vehicle on Highway 75 south of Ames, abandoned after a crash. The victim's injuries are not life-threatening. Call Crime Stoppers if you have information that could help solve the case. And I'm 3 News Now meteorologist Chris Swain. Low 80s on Saturday under partly cloudy skies. Plenty of dry time throughout the day on Saturday. It's late in the evening, overnight, and into Sunday morning that things turn active again around the storms possible there. So that's why we have a 30% aerial coverage Saturday evening and then Sunday morning. Outside of that window, a lot of dry time, partly cloudy skies, much cooler on Sunday. And one more note on Sunday, a total lunar eclipse possible. The moon's going to travel through the shadow of the earth and the sun's going to light it up bright orange. If you want to set a reminder, the peak is at 11 11, but there will be a window to catch this beautiful event, mainly clear skies. I think we'll have some good viewing conditions there late Sunday into Monday, mainly sunny skies, temperatures holding in the 70s through Tuesday into Wednesday, mid 80s back on Thursday, Friday, mainly cloudy to partly cloudy skies, some isolated spotty storm chances in place through the week ahead.